Hello. Hello. I'm here in Ireland with Emma Fisher. It is very early. Very early and ten minutes before uh, I'm going to go to the airport to go home. <laughs> We went to bed three hours ago. Yes, we went to bed three hours ago and we were working on this. Yes. Um, Emma, do you want to tell them a little bit about what this is? Okay, so um, this is a contraption that um, has been made by Ivan and um, with the help of uh, Tommy and Gemma and myself. And uh, the reason Ivan is here is because I sent him an email um about four months ago yeah and um and said to him that uh i was doing a phd and that um as part of my research uh i was kind of looking at the idea that um when, when um that if my able-bodied self was able to puppeteer my disabled body itself to then puppeteer a puppet and how through that, I would look at how I see disability and whether I, I look at it as a puppet or a, an object or different things like that. So it was kind of like, I sent him that email, but just in a general, this is what I'm doing, and tell me a bit more about your research. And then I got back to me and... Yeah, and I was yeah. very excited by the concept and uh, asked if I could be part of her team for the play that she's creating. Yes. Uh, and uh, and then she she said yes, so we yes. kind of went from there. Did a little happy dance in my living room. Yes, <laughs> well, and I one one too. Yes, yes, we have that in common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And here we are now. Um, here we are after a week of working in the Fab Lab in Limerick. We have uh, we have um, been very successful. So I'm actually able to operate this quite simple device with these two fingers, which leaves my hand open to operate a puppet. Should I actually put the puppet in my hand? Let's see. So actually what's going to be really nice is we're going to put a little hole in here which means that I can mm -hmm. slot heads and things in so that then I can, I can, I'll be able to puppeteer the head and keep that alive but at the same time when I'll be able to do this and by being able to do this and then there'll be an arm which will be connect the puppet's arm will connect up to this arm, um, and so and her, her she'll be able to pick up things and move around. And what's really nice is um, so Ivan has uh, so what we've done is so this this device means I can open and close and pick things up, but um, the spring here, yeah, yeah. So I'm able to I'm I'm able to push back, but I have very little movement forward. So that kind of propels my arm a bit more forward. And even just that extra sort of inch or so will um, be a big movement for a puppet. So every mm -hmm. small movement is translated into a puppet in a kind of a big way. So, yeah. And this is constructed, um, so the, the entire thing is constructed primarily out of uh, laser cut wood and leather mm -hmm. and metal, uh, partially because the aesthetic that Eva was going for was to make it look like sort of an old fashioned puppet. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that was really important. And the other thing that was really important that I said to Ivan after he said he wanted to come on board was that I really wanted my arm to not be hidden because the whole point is supposed to be a celebration of of the body, I suppose, rather than hi hiding it or covering it up. Mm -hmm. so, um, so that was really important, which is why it's kind of an exoskeleton. Mm -hmm. um, in, in the play itself, um, uh, it, this, this device, uh, I can say this because this will be released after the play. Yes. Um, but uh, it will be hidden, and the idea is that um, I am puppeteering a puppet, which is me, and um, which is is kind of searching for the perfect arm. She's had an accident. She's she's damaged her arm, and she's replaced, she's trying to find it. Now, what the audience don't realize is I'm all in black, and thanks to Gemma, I am nice and covered, <laughs> and um, um, and. And they have no idea that it's my story or that I have a disability or anything like that. Um, and they, um, and the idea is that um, much like in Pinocchio, where the puppet turns into a real person and almost gets discarded a little bit. Sorry, puppet. <laughs> um, there's sort of a reveal at the end, so that uh, they realise that actually the story they've been following is mine, and then they get to see this lovely device. Mm -hmm. And we get to kind of 
move and dance and, and I, they get to see all the strings really and see that mm -hmm. I'm actually a, a bit of a marionette. Should I show them my back? The back of this device has a lot of cogs um, and initially we were planning to power everything with motors the, the, as a team, we decided that it would be better to go with mechanical function, mm -hmm. but then we still had these lovely motors. So what we ended up doing was to use those motors for um, just movement. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a switch that, you, that can be flipped, um, and then the motors come to life and spin. But also, we routed the control from her right hand. Uh, we, we, we interrupted the cable, which mechanically is, a, is not a good idea, and we know it. But, but functionally what it does is that when she squeezes the cable, it pulls a spool on one gear, which then turns another, so that when she moves, uh, squeezes with her right hand, there's movement in the gears that corresponds to that. Mm -hmm. so, so a lot of these choices were really about the, 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 the form of, of the, this contraption, yes. in addition to the things that it can do you know, from a puppeteering perspective. Yeah, so, and it's yeah. also a storytelling device. Yes, this, yes. this, this is <laughs> that's a very good point. This, what this really is, and this is one of the things that excited me the most about this project um, and getting involved with, with Emma's work and with her team, is that this is a storytelling device, <laughs> which, I mean, how many devices are there that are storytelling devices? I guess for you it's pretty common because that's puppeteering. Puppeteering <laughs> yeah. is all about storytelling devices. Um, yes, not usually the, on my own yeah. body though, so, yeah. you know. <laughs> okay.